Welcome to this episode of The Great British Mickey Waffle. I'm Peter, but I'm not alone. I have with me Ben. Hello. Becca. Hello. Freshly back from holiday, Claire. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Did you have a good time? I did. It was very sunny, very warm, but also very, very busy. Brilliant. That doesn't sound like Disneyland Paris at all. You got the, cra- <laughs> you got the crowds and the weather. Yeah, you got neither. Yeah. So, you know, no. between us, we work, it balances out. Yeah. yeah. We were somewhere in between, weren't we? Yeah. We got fantastic weather and low crowds. We got the best. There you go. And of course, sat beside me is my wonderful wife, Jill. Good evening. We would normally have um, John, but John is on holiday. And we're not envious at all. No, I not at all. <laughs> but we do have someone who's coming in in his stead, proving that once you're a waffler, always a waffler, is Lloyd! Yay! Yay! Hello, Lloyd! Hello, Welcome! Yay. Not seeing you in a long time. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you? I know you built you up a bit there, Lloyd, actually. Yeah. I'm a bit concerned, <laughs> you know. I thought you were going to bring in someone else instead of me then. (laughs) All these figures just shot through the roof. (laughs) (laughs) We hope. That's good to be back. We hope. Um, (laughs) It's so great to have you here, Lloyd, tonight. Thank you for for joining us to to record this section. Um, And I think that your your opinions are going to be uh, well required. Right. So what do we have in store this month? Well, later we'll be discussing our must-packed items when going to WDW, what we're going to put in our fanny pack when we go to the park. <laughs> Sorry. And we're off already. And we're off already. For those oh. of you in America, funny, the, that word has a different <laughs> meaning over here. Don't Google it. Just don't Google it. Don't Google it. Don't Google, don't Google it, it if you like. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to sound like that. Peter going, funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many sound bites in this episode already. <laughs> Oh. I didn't even giggle. I was trying so hard to keep a straight face. But I was looking oh. at Claire and just, it just, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's going to be one of those why. nights. It is. Yeah. But first, <laughs> Disneyland Paris has Lancelot's. Orlando has Prince Charming's and one of Progress. Disneyland California has King Arthur's. What are they? They are... Carousel. Peter, I am so glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. And we have a carousel too. It's our carousel of questions. And taking a spin tonight is Becca. Becca, are you ready? I hope so. <laughs> you don't sound very sure. I'm not very sure. <laughs> okay, right. Let's uh, let's go through our questions as. For those of you who don't know what our carousel of questions is, we have a set of questions that one waffler answers each month. Each waffler asks a question to that waffler. And I couldn't have made that more complicated (laughs) if I tried, but let's get on with it. (laughs) Asking the first question is Ben. Okay. So I think I know the answer to this one. I hope you know the answer to this one. When did you first step into a Disney park? Um... 17th of June 2013. I'm going to go, you were wrong by two days. <laughs> One day, actually, is the 18th. <laughs> do you want to tell us why? <laughs> <laughs> why no. do you that and why, how come you got it wrong? Hmm. Good question. Uh, well, we got married on the 15th. <laughs> <laughs> we flew out to Orlando on the 16th. 17th. So 17th we were, yeah, 18th we were, yeah. We didn't fly until a Monday, which was the 17th. Yes, yeah, so 18th. So 18th was SeaWorld, um, 19th yeah, was Hollywood Studios. I forgot about Studios. the day in between. Sorry. 19th of June, 2013. I'm liking I'm Is that your final your answer? answer? <laughs> it is. It, I can tell you it was Hollywood Studios as well. I knew that bit. Oh, okay. That, that, that's good. That's good. Uh, who's next? I think it's Claire. So, Becca, which, uh, <coughs> to which Pixar character do you most relate? Uh, Dory. <laughs> because I'm fairly positive. Is that, and I'm is that around <laughs> honeymoons and wedding dates, particularly? <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm just a little bit forgetful. Oh. Oh, so, yes. Do you speak I, whale? Um, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 
King Becca. That's the right answer, Becca. Ben, what, what, what is going like? <laughs> Becca's glass. No, it's water. No, oh. as you can see, things have degenerated oh, a little. I was going to say, yeah. things haven't changed very much. But... Oh. <laughs> Who's next? It's Claire. It's, no, it's not. It's no. Jill. Jill. <laughs> anyway, so so you're Dory. Yes, yes. I'm Dory. Oh. Well, my question: favorite bathroom in um, Disney parks, not just generally in life. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, it's the same answer. The one in, in just outside Sonar in um, Animal Kingdom Lodge in Kadani Village. Mm. I want to decorate my bathroom like that one day. That's the aim. So much about these. We're, we're going to have to go just to Nothing. be in the bathroom, aren't we? They're yeah. becoming a tourist attraction in and of themselves. <laughs> they are. They? Yeah. There's going to be a queue soon. Yeah. I don't know where to go from that. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next question. On to the next question. And it is what, me. What is your favourite Disney mountain? Uh, Big Thunder Mountain. Can Big... I push you to which one? Uh, the Paris one. Yay. Correct. Cool. And uh, Lloyd? Who is your favourite villain and why? Hmm. Some debate over whether he's actually a villain or not. I'm going to say Maui from Moana. Ooh. He was he stole the heart of Te Thiti, mm-hmm. which was the whole reason for, I can't remember. The film. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason for <laughs> Well, if he hadn't done that, contract. Yeah, Uh, yeah. I'd call him more of an anti-hero than a a villain. But that's (laughs) you can have what you want, Becca. But yeah, yeah. he's my villain. Yeah, it's your choice. He also has a great song. He does. He does. And can we hear an ex? No, don't. (laughs) (laughs) We don't want a copyright strike. So he was going to abandon Moana on an island Mm. and steal her boat. See, I told you, thief. Two things he's stolen. Yeah, he uses um, hey hey as a pencil. (laughs) Oh, animal cruelty. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm going off this, this, this demigod more and more. Yeah. As, I'm, as, I'm as, as on her hand when she's trying yeah. to see the, uh, the current. Yes. He, he, he's, oh. That's a very nice move, is it? No. See. You're making a very compelling case here. Yeah. See, we're all on your side. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ben, next Hello? question is yours. Okay. Yes. Wh- yes. Which Epcot World Showcase country is your must do? Mm, France. Any reason why? The ice cream shop is brilliant. The patisserie is brilliant. Ratatouille is pretty good too. And I really want to try the creperie. Cool. Yeah. It's clear next. <laughs> <laughs> um, Becca, which is your favourite <laughs> land in Magic Kingdom? Hmm. Main Street. Can I ask why? Mm-hmm. Because she gets that first the first Magic Kingdom day, that first entrance of Main Street, there's just that mm. feeling of being back. Yeah. Lots of people like Main Street. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of people think Main Street is is there's there's just something comforting and homely about it. Yes. And uh, is it true that they fix the shops on either side? So when you go into the park, you have everything you need for the park on the right hand side, and Can then when the you come out of the and... park, it's all souvenirs and things like that on the right hand side. That's true. Yeah, because yeah. there's a theory got... that most people are right-handed, so, go up so the right-handed. You, you go and get like the popcorn and the um, coffee got your first. Your... Yeah, oh, yeah, and your hats and glasses. Your bags. And, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then on the way out, it's all the souvenirs. Oh, see, I see. I like the um, the glass shops on the right hand side. Yeah, mm. not sure you need that in the morning. Yeah, but, yeah. Not sure about that. But maybe it's I don't know. I like mm. because it's on a, a slight incline, so you walk up to the castle and then it's easy for walking back down when it's the end of the day. Mm. Is that a good point? Well, my question is: What is your favourite nighttime parade or fireworks spectacular at Walt Disney World? Wishes. <laughs> I've always loved wishes, and I'm always going to love wishes. I know a lot of it's sentimentality. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Oh yeah, wishes is a great show, but I, it's brilliant. I always preferred holiday wishes to mm-hmm. wishes. Yeah, 
but that's mine. But yeah, yeah. no, wishes okay. is fantastic. Can't argue with wishes. As this week, was it Main Street Electrical Parade has come back yeah. as a recording? <laughs> Would you say that's your nighttime parade? As that's the only one we've seen. That's the only one I've seen. So <laughs> but, yeah. oh, it's the only one that we've seen. Yeah. yeah. But have would you? you wa- have you seen the popcorn buckets? Yes. They they are something else. Oh, they are. Oh, right. Okay. I no, mean, I haven't seen. They're going to be more collectible. They than light Figma. up. I'm. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm I, buying one now. Yeah. I just want to say I will applaud the people who got that through quality <laughs> control. Because <laughs> when you see it, if you haven't seen them, go and have a look on the internet and find a picture of them. I'm just saying someone had something on their mind when they were making those because they are quite special. Yeah. Um, and a um, hat is taken off to the person who, who got that through. It's all the merchandise as well because they've got like matching T-shirts and everything to the Main Street mm-hmm. Electrical Parade, and it's like mm-hmm. you just—it just looks like someone's wearing a T-shirt full of LEDs. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> yeah, we first saw that in Paris. Yes. So many, <laughs> many, many moons ago. Yes, nighttime. Yeah. Main Street Electrical cool. Parade. Yeah. I think all of the T-shirt—it plays the um, what's it called, the thingy polka. Oh. Press a little bit on it. <laughs> oh. What's the name of it? Um, you mean you mean the Baroque hoedown? The Baroque hoedown. Yeah. Baroque hoedown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What am I getting? Polka, 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 polka. Hey, it's a dance. The both tree dances. Ha- the treehouse has a polka. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Lloyd, it's your question next. Um, favorite restaurant outside of the parks? Oh. Have you been to many? Well again. <laughs> yes. Betsy Dory, just so, thinking. When we say outside the parks, do we mean outside the Disney Resort? I think um, it's open to your interpretation. You yeah. could do just outside the parks, so it could be yeah, so not resorts or yeah. Disney Springs, yeah, or, or it yeah. could be I drive. Yeah. yeah. IHOP's pretty special. Yeah, tell 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 me it's IHOP, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Was it the Village Inn? Boathouse, then, in that case. Okay. Cool. We can include Disney Springs. Mm. Boathouse. We yeah. have yet to go to Boathouse. It's on the list. Try the, it, try the steak the and fries and the duck okay. duck grouse. Mm. Okay. And the sliders are apparently the sliders. quite nice. Who's paying? It sounds like he's spending a lot of money in this yeah. restaurant. Yeah. There's another um, cocktail as well, yeah, but I can't remember okay. the name of it. It isn't the cheap option. Lunch is cheaper no. than dinner, but it is definitely worth a visit. Mm. Get um, the sliders are only, $14. what, $14? Mm. Yeah. We probably won't try the amphi cars. Get a side of mac and cheese because ask for a side of mac and cheese and it's like that big. Okay. The side of mac and cheese is a meal on its own. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Which is actually quite tempting for next time. Yeah. Does, that side, does that come as a side with the sliders or is that an additional yeah. side? So it's, it's an additional, additional. side. Right, but it was okay. $8. Still get... Right, okay. It's cool. still pretty good, isn't it? For a yeah. bad, no. Or if that was like a child's yeah. meal, you yeah. could do that for your, yeah. you know, rather than ordering a kid's meal, you could do. You do that yeah. for your child if they like mac and cheese. And yeah. then uh, when we all decided we were recommended to get it for the table and not individually mm. because it was so huge. Oh, God. Yeah. But the appetizers, the pimento cheese dip is absolutely the move to go for because it comes mm-hmm. with like pickled vegetables as well. So that cuts through the cheesiness. Uh-huh. And it, oh, mm-hmm. it is just incredible. Uh, do they call them sides in the boathouse? Yes. Yes. Because some places don't call them sides, do they? They call them something oh, else. Oh, what are they? What's the new thing? Enhancements. Enhancements. It says on some. That's things. more of yeah. like if you've got steak and, and you're throwing a lobster you're tail throwing... on it or something. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. 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 I've obviously misinterpreted that. Yeah. Cool. The last question, as we started, goes to Ben. Okay. Food and wine or flower and garden? At the moment, food and wine, just because I've done it more often, I've only done flower and garden once. That may change after our next trip, though. Okay. Cool. Is there any particular reason? I've just done it more Why? often. Okay. The, there's I've no got more experience with it. I know what. Yeah. Okay. I know the, what you the food's like. I can remember what the food's like. Okay. What yeah. the rest of the mm-hmm. stuff is like. Whereas when it's when it's been like such a long time since we've done flower and garden that mm, I don't really yeah. remember much apart from the toe okay. If I change the question slightly, put food and wine, flower and garden, or festival of the arts. Festival of the arts. Mm. Why is that? Because it was so much fun. Cool. Yeah, I would have loved to have done it. Yeah. We were. We were supposed to be. Yeah. We, we were supposed to do it, and then the world went boom. <laughs> so yeah. We didn't get there in January. No. 
No. It's still there. It will it's still, still there. We're we'll going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go in anywhere. No. There'll always be a festival. Indeed. Yeah. Well, they've they've now got rid of the gap. Have their them. way. There will be a festival all year round. 365 yeah. days a year. And we will be doing food and wine when we're there. Yeah. I think there's only a two week gap between um, yeah. Flower and Garden and food and wine this year. Food and wine. Yeah. But we're doing That's food. only so they can change all the mountings. Yeah. We'll be doing food and wine when we're there, but they don't have the food and wine special offer like they had last time we went. Mm. <coughs> no, I think I think they've worked out that that's not good value for them. People. No, no it was fantastic for us. Years, I they... think most special yeah. offers aren't on anymore. Yeah, it was great yeah. ha- ha- having a place to sit, having people bring you food. Yeah, it was great. Oh, I'm going to be doing that, but that's going to be called Zach Brown. <laughs> <laughs> not the place to sit. Can I just say? <laughs> You're bringing me food. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Just, just okay. Cool. We had a oh, whole, Zach. whole bunch of CMs serenade us last time. Uh, well, we, oh, exactly. We, we, we sat, right. sat in one particular area and we were choosing what to order. And about four or five CMs came up to us in a group and started singing a parody version of Be Our Guest with all the different things they had on the menu. Just like, so, yeah, I could live with this. It's great. Yeah. See, I, I wonder how long... Does the... Peter not do that every night? <laughs> well, now you're giving away the secrets, you see. That's the secret to your happy marriage. Absolutely. Peter sings to you yeah. every evening what the menu is. Yeah. Uh, Peter also cooks quite a lot as well. So yeah. No, no, I know. That's my point, Peter. Yeah. If you're doing the menu, then yeah. you know what's Absolutely. going on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Artage, pie, sweet white wine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Challenge then. laid down. Okay. Murky Twistlers. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an enhancement or a side? <laughs> oh, I've missed this. I've missed oh, this. Oh, dear. This is... <laughs> right. Thanks, Becca. That's been a really um, an, an interesting. Uh, interesting conversation. That's interesting 20 minutes. There, Enlightening. Yeah, not very good. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to my version whenever it comes up because um i think i'm going to decide to just answer on spec rather than come with uh answers so let's see watch out that could be goodness knows where we'll end up anyway i don't know who's next month and so i think it actually might be you peter it actually might be me okay well that could be fun then the pressure's on the pressure's on well then i'll just do no research then that's fine i won't bother. It makes me want to sing The Heat Is On. The Heat Is On. <laughs> no, no copyright strikes. <laughs> no, don't sing, Peter. Don't sing copyright strikes. Copyright strikes. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, our main discussion this month is about packing. What do we pack for our WDW trip? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Why is she so <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> keep going oh. ignore me giggling we've replaced John this week <laughs> I thought that was why Lloyd was here <laughs> yeah. oh. oh no Lloyd is not replacing gonna John get... <laughs> Lloyd is I'm Lloyd never gonna get through this <laughs> Lloyd could never replace anybody Lloyd is Lloyd come on Peter back, back to your packing Peter let's get on with it As mentioned earlier, our main discussion this month is packing. What do we pack to take to WDW? What do we put in our park bags or fanny packs or bum bags or whatever we want to call them to take into the parks? Are there any tips and tricks that we can pass on to each other and to our audience at all? Mm. I think it starts with what type of bag you you take into the park because yeah. as you said there are so many different types so as long as it fits everything in any bag will do <laughs> any bag that, will. no no more singing no more singing <laughs> i didn't realize this was a musical episode yeah. <laughs> we should, oh my goodness it's like buffy the vampire so we should totally do that yeah. <laughs> christmas, more with the the christmas gotta be done whole musical yeah episode, once more with waffling. either christmas or done. our fifth anniversary yes brilliant put it on the list ben yeah. <laughs> lloyd you're invited <laughs> cool oh, it is. sorry go on ben 
I just can't remember. I was uh, talking about. You were saying, bags. Michelle, it doesn't matter which bag. It depends which bag It depends what you're bag taking you in. Because sometimes I will pop into a park in an evening and it's like we don't need all the stuff that you're taking for a full day in the park. So I know that normally you want to take your purse and all, all of that, but normally it's sometimes we'll just, sometimes we don't even yeah, some take days, a bag. Well, oh, I never take my purse. But sometimes we don't, the only reason you take your purse. I leave that with Dad. The only reason you take your purse is because you need ID for. Um, not alcohol. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, how nice it would be to be young enough to <laughs> ID. Yeah. Um, and it's also, been a while, to be fair. But also, but you need ID just in case. if you use DVC hide. or annual pass holder discount. Okay. Yeah. They get so funny about it. For our American audience, can we define purse, please? Uh, the small um, thing you keep your cash and cards in. Thank you. What, what inside um, your handbag? Whereas in America, yeah. your purse is your handbag. So, what's yeah. your purse? Your purse in America is what you would call a handbag. Yeah. No, no, no. What's what do you call a purse? Uh, what we call a purse yes. in, in America. Yeah. What's it called? A wallet or I think whatever. It's a wallet. A wallet or a bill fold or a change. Yeah. Somewhere you keep your money. Yeah. 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 A purse in the UK is a place, it's the place where you keep your money and your cards and your cash and your coins. But and... in America, it's a handbag. Yes. Either way. <sighs> <laughs> so, Becca, what, what sort of bags do you – what what sort of bag do people take in with them? Because I, I think that everyone has their own preference, and it depends who you're going with. It's, you know, if you've got kids with you, you know what, you might as well take a suitcase sometimes. And I know Lloyd will, Lloyd will appreciate that in terms of, like, change bag an entertainment bag yeah when we go it's either the backpack or my handbag how big's the backpack is it like a 25 liter backpack like the one that you go trip around the yeah. world or is yeah. it depends on which one we've brought with us actually <laughs> normally it is it's one that we can fit as many bottles of water in as we can mm. and <laughs> the gimbal and the camera and all the yes i mean sometimes okay, i'll take so a separate you're... bag for my camera so you're taking like a tech bag yeah. yeah yes and is it a and you use a backpack not a camera bag with extensions yeah because we don't have although we it, do it, have it, a camera bag in the normally we sometimes we'll put the camera bag which is smaller in the backpack a video camera doesn't use the same lenses and things like that as a as an as a still camera would no but so it, you don't need all that extra space and all those extra Pockets. But, pockets. but the, the bag well, is big one, enough because we did use yeah. heavy SLR in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we've got two camera bags, actually. We've got the big one that used to hold my SLR, which we, if we take that, the camera will go in, the gimbals will go in, the tripod will go in, the extra batteries and everything like that will go in. Okay. And sometimes that will go in the backpack. <laughs> if there's room in the backpack. Right, okay. We have bags inside bags. So you can, Security uh, love us. You can imagine back check. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's like the inception of park. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good point about bag check as well, because I remember going 2007 or 2009, um, and you want to go for rope drop, and the queues at bag check yeah. crazy. So I used to not take a bag. It would be my park tickets, card, credit card, some cash um, in a pocket, and then my camera in my hand and my camera in my other pocket, just so we could bypass that and just go and go straight in. Yeah, I have. A, but now bag check, you don't. Do the, is it just a walk through now? Bag check. It's still or do a walk through. Um, what happens is you Sometimes. might get. It depends yeah. if they can't see what's in your bag. The technology is yeah. very good. But okay. if you've got a glasses case, a hard camera case, and um, lots of battery packs okay. and things bags like and that. Bags. Um, we'll but sometimes, if you take it out of the bag and hold it in front of you as you walk through the scanner, they can see it, and the camera. Yeah. Okay. So you don't always I get. I can imagine if you've got several battery packs and some yeah. cables and if you stuff, put it all in one bag, have a look. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, yeah. This way, Ben got similar... stopped every time. But the yeah. good thing is, because it's random okay, and it's a bit dodgy, well, <laughs> <laughs> it is one of those things. There's only a queue of one or two people. If that, mm. yeah. you normally go okay. straight straight to um, a security. I like guard. the morning chat with the security nice. guys. They're nice. Yeah, they're cheery yeah. and friendly. Unlike I have a DJI pocket camera. I I don't take an expensive camera, but it's a really good camera. It does uh, full HD, it does 4K, 8K, it does whatever I want. And it's really compact and I can keep it in my pocket or in a... I bought a bum bag with Stitch on <laughs> when we were in Disneyland Paris and I kept it in that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I always got people asking me, what's that? 
Yeah, the security guys at Disneyland Paris, none of them had ever seen one before. Yeah. Every looks, morning it was, what is this? It looks a little bit like an offensive weapon if you look at it in a certain way. <laughs> or some bizarre surgical instrument. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll ask, does it have an extension? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Of you that keep hand that, and... Sorry, Peter, you keep that in your bum bag. Yes. <laughs> it is just a camera. It is a handheld camera. It is fine. <laughs> And I keep that in my bag, or in Jill's handbag if I'm. Uh, yeah. If I don't remember my. If you want to incriminate yeah. Jill. Yeah. <laughs> right. Certainly, last time I was at Walt Disney World, um, it was still the the table and the opening all the zips, and that's when I discovered I really shouldn't have brought a bag that had about ten million zips. Yep. Because I had to open every single one every single time. So yeah, that was my mistake. Yeah. And so if, you, if the bag's full of stuff as well, yeah. and you're opening all the zips, it just goes everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's a game changer, isn't it? Those scanners now, it's um, mm. it, it just changes everything. I would never be deterred from taking a bag ever, ever again because it's just no. it's really simple. Yeah. So, Lloyd, with kids, how does that work? Um, how we made them. <laughs> but there's more people. <coughs> I don't think really, we want to burn really the job. job. <laughs> Yeah, but there's um, it's basically like a whole caravan of stuff now, and Sherpas and a lot. When we got to take the kids, it used to be, as I said, I'd take no bag in, and then sort of graduated to a sort of messenger bag with a few bits and pieces. And now it's, we always have a push chair. Um, right, okay. One of them has, has always been push chair age, even mm. now. Um, so we have some storage on that. We have um, sort of a drinks. Um, Drinks holder and little zip compartment on the top of it, the space underneath, and then we've got. I carry a rucksack now, so like a 30, 25, 30 litre rucksack. Wow. With, uh, <laughs> everything, everything we're going to need. Oh, um, yeah, and then it's you know, it's for the kids, um, not for accidents or anything, they're all really good, but we take changes of clothes because they're all really funny about water. Well, certainly, the, the right. other two are, yeah, so the. You can, you know, you, you take them to City Walk and they run up and down in that fountain and they get soaked and they don't mind. But if it's not their intention to get wet, they just don't like it. Oh, so, right, okay. So we have to take a spare t shirt or spare pants in case yeah. they get splashed with something, which they may do. They okay. walk in front of a camel in Adventureland. They're potentially yeah. going to get splashed. <laughs> yep, they spit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well Disney's not a, not a danger anymore. Or a stitch. Stitch is spitting spit. again. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, so there's a worry. So, uh, yeah. I just use another door. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you know the door, you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Um, nappies, but that's it. That's that's yeah. it in terms of the kids because the, the baby changing facilities are so good. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of those elements, we can get anything we want. Snacks. We have the we're taking gold packs of goldfish. I don't know if you're familiar okay. with those. Yeah. 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 Little cut up bits of ham sandwich and things like that, and then the the bottle trick just freeze water overnight. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're taking a squeegee, little squeegee um, cordial thing, condensed cordial. So yeah. So, yeah. Yep. So when it starts to uh, unfreeze, when it starts to defrost, just squeeze that in, and the kids have got a you know a melon yep. drink or whatever flavour we've got that day. Yeah. yeah so I remember cool. Mills used to love um, if you go to the supermarket, they they sell like these big tubs of like I think they're called Gruber's, like the little rice shapes. Um, and they do loads of really cool flavors, like the blueberry flavor and stuff. And you can decant them, and or like a bag of like dry Cheerios or something. Yeah. But they they all need to go somewhere. That's the thing. You can't just walk around with like a ziploc of uh, Cheerios, um, or I would just eat them, quite frankly. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, the snack thing is important when you've got small small people who get a yeah. little bit hangry in the queue or just need a bit of distraction or something. So you need to have something ready. That's just, yeah. That's the other element as well, the distraction. So they'll all have the little favourite toys, whether it's Ryan's World for Brody, the oldest, or it's a little little sort of sound thing for, for Roman. So we've got to make sure we've got those as well because that keeps them, keeps mm, them going. Yeah. And then something we've found um, the last couple of trips, always have the pennies, have a few one cents, because every body of water they go past, whether it's uh, a wishing well or, or anything, uh -huh. they want to throw stuff in. And yeah. if we've got no pennies, it's quarters and <laughs> Cost if, I, fortune. if yeah. I had silver dollars on me that we want to throw that in so <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. saves a fortune if i've got lots of one cents uh yeah. pennies in the bag as well so uh yeah throw a load of those in oh nice. i've cool. just got images claire of cheerios um in the ziplock ziplock mm -hmm. bag and someone getting some milk out and just pouring it in no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> ben, cheerios, cheerios are only ever eaten dry 
Don't put <laughs> milk in Cheerios. Cheerios are awesome dry. They're like the best snack. They food. are nice dry, yeah. but they're also nice with milk. Like sugar puffs, they're best dry as well. You know. <laughs> oh, that yeah. I agree with. <laughs> Mm -hmm. well, see, I thought you were going to say you had images of people throwing Cheerios into fountains. Yes. <laughs> no. The other image I've got is of the um, was it the baby challenge of where you put <coughs> Cheerios on top of a sleeping baby. And you can see how what, high it's a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a thing. Really? Yeah. If you find it on TikTok and Instagram, there's a um, thing of sleeping. I've missed that. I took yeah. Is it really? linked to social services? <laughs> <laughs> to social media. <laughs> yeah. Social media. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were going to talk about what they do on the ships, yeah. where they race babies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe they do need social services. Yeah, they have to go like, to the international very... waters to get yeah. away with that. <laughs> no, they... They have, on, the, on the ships, they have diaper dash. And you put two, each each team has a baby that they put on the uh, starting <laughs> line. In the atrium. In the atrium, we were starting line. Yeah. And then the babies start crawling up, and it's the first one to get to the end. For, yeah. All right. Um, Could you bet on it? Yeah. <laughs> not legal. Not, le not officially. <laughs> Disney dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could get Roman in training. Yeah. 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 Get him to yeah. pretend he can only crawl. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. He could be, yeah, be the ringer. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Hundred to one on the the one that can't crawl, and then he just yeah, it's a good oh, idea. Yeah. Hands and knees, off he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what do we pack to go to WDW? What do we pack to? What do we always have to take in our suitcases? Mm. Tea bags. Mozzie repellent. Yeah. 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 We put in now. Definitely yeah. tea bags. Definitely. Uh, because the tea in America is not great. It's yeah. uh, it's shocking. See, it's only, just terrific. <laughs> it is. It completely is. The we, only thing is, if you're staying on site, most of them you can get a Twinings. Or yeah, but yeah. even but that's. I'm sorry, Ben. Can we just talk about the Twinings tea bags you get in America? Because yeah. let's face they're it, they're not as good as the. They UK, are then. like, where's the tea? Is kind of. So <laughs> I can't. You have to leave it brewing for a lot longer than you. No, do. you need to use like three bags. They're <laughs> awful. I'm so I am a like a builder's tea kind of girl, okay. and. Uh, <clears throat> I'm often found to be using two tea bags even at home uh, with Yorkshire tea. Um, Twining's tea bags, I'm like squeezing them out. It's like wringing them out to try and find some tea in them. It's <laughs> they're awful. So I will always, always take tea bags just in case, you know, you have a tea mm -hmm. emergency. Um, it happens regularly in my life. So uh, yeah, tea has tea. to be. We took tea bags on our first trip and we didn't use them. I might not use them, but I need to know they're there for security purposes. <laughs> you know, yeah, the management of anxiety. Uh, if there's something might. happens, tea is required. So, um, yeah, it, yeah it's we, a bit of a we are, I am not a tea person, and Jill, Jill likes tea, but but I'm, I'm I'm not really a tea person. So we are quite happy to use the coffee that you. I can't yeah, operate get usually that. on without a cup of tea yeah. in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with coffee Especially as well, but tea is yeah, some kind of yeah. caffeine. But... I don't want to know that I haven't got the option of tea. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of all... where I am. Especially over the past couple of years. Do we all follow the usual advice? The one thing that everybody says when you're packing, don't pack all the men's stuff in one and all the women's stuff in another. Split mix it, it between all up. the two. Yeah, yeah. mix it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. split yeah. it across yeah. the cases. Split it across the cases. <clears throat> Otherwise, <throat> one person's naked and everyone else is <laughs> yes, well dressed. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Which is also not a bad thing. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, it, it's yeah. whatever suits your. As long as you've got lots of sunscreen. Particularly <laughs> in the Florida heat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Always pack a spare pair of clothes in your carry on as well, just in case. I never do that. Just in case your cases don't arrive. In case none of your cases arrive, at least Always you've got a pair of clothes for the next day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll and put then you've got a warm up and carry on. Yeah. 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 Always put <laughs> swimming stuff in. And does everyone pack enough underwear? No. To last them. Out. Ben never does. I know. No. We always See, end up having to buy overpack, more out Overpack. Overpack. No. Like I overpack like, on there's, everything there's gonna be else. Issues every day. We use the washing machines. <laughs> yeah, I said why, but I still over. Yeah, we've started washing. Oh, yeah. I feel like a proper grow, grown up. Oh. Washing on holiday. Lloyd, do you find uh, it exciting the fact that you can bring your clothes home clean? That's yeah, the bit for exactly. me. Is well, like, we've never done it fully, and then it must um, have been after speaking to you last time. Emma was saying she's going to do the full yeah. wash. Do the we, full wash before you come home, and then it's, everything's yeah. clean when you unpack. 
Second to last night, we're in Vero Beach. Well, the two nights we're in Vero Beach, which will have a laundry service. So yeah, we can do, do all it. the clothes, <laughs> do two it of the all. cases all clean. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to clean gonna our try. clothes this time when we're at Saratoga. Honestly, it's a okay. game changer when you get yeah. home. You know, there's nothing worse than you know, you've been on an overnight flight. You get home, you're looking at the cases like, oh, oh man, we bought yeah. so much and I have no idea what's in each case. And I just yeah. threw everything in. Actually, I threw it in thing in but it could just be ironed and put i don't even need to turn the washing machine on yeah. don't worry about ironing it just put it away to be fair i probably would as well yeah but at least i'll know that the underwear just needs putting away that's what's right. about packing do we all use packing cubes or something no. similar or never or? done them yet because yeah. we we're... We're, we've bought them for this trip oh, have we actually oh so them? yeah, yeah so on, on the i was oh, i was i was skeptical but uh, my cousin does a lot of travelling with work, and she said to me, try packing cubes. And I'm a massive packing cube convert. Number one, it gives you so much more space in your bag. Um, and there's something, particularly if you're going to be moving location while you're there. So Ben and Becca, like your, your previous trip, oh, where yeah. you went we to like should've... 100 hotels in five cubes days. for our last trip. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there is something, and especially if, you're, if you've got different... Um, so like for us, we've got four different people travelling, uh, usually and uh, sometimes across two rooms so to be able to go into a bag and go right the pink packing cubes they're mine the orange ones are Morgan's uh, the blue ones are Dan's the green ones are Millie's and so I can then unpack the whole set of bags in about 15 minutes and you don't have to unpack the packing cubes you just drop them into the drawers or things like that other than the well, stuff okay. you're going to hang up and you unzip them and everything is there it's all rolled up neatly um, and everyone knows their colour, so it's really quick and easy to unpack stuff. Rather than, well, actually, who's this? Who's is this? Where's that going? Which drawer is that going in? Where, you know, it's just so much quicker. And I am, it, it's so much easier just to lay everything in packing cubes in the case, and then the the stuff that needs hanging up in the wardrobe just lies over the top of it. And because they're shiny, they slide so they don't crease. I'm a massive packing cube convert, and I you okay. can buy them so cheaply on eBay or Amazon or anything like that. They don't have to be expensive. Um, we've got about, I think we've got about six sets in different colours so that we can mix and match. I was going to say, do you have a different set for each person? Yeah, so we have a different colour for each person, definitely. So you might need to buy another set. Colour code it. Mm. Not that I'm neurotic or yeah. a bit obsessive <laughs> in any way, I shape, or form. Nice, so. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Mm. Just well organised. It has Absolutely. to mind because we are going to be doing a, a brief universal stay in the middle yeah. of our Disney stay. So it has crossed my mind to just have that separate little packing. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've, we've got four nights at go. Universal. Yeah, so you could, nights Saratoga, you could so have your could Universal go. stuff in one set. Yeah. Which is not and even then touching it. Yeah. And then, yeah, you don't need to unpack any of the rest of your case. Mm. That's brilliant. We've got what our last night is one night stay at Margaritaville. So oh, to have nice. that packing cube just with that, with, with yeah. that one night stay yeah. makes absolute yeah. sense. And the it's other time you can... The other time that's really useful is if you're staying in a hotel the night before you go. Mm-hmm. So if you're yes. staying in the, the airport the night before yes. and you know that that yeah. one packing cube has got everyone's yeah. pajamas in it. We're doing that yeah. as well. So and yeah, that your makes underwear sense. the night, underwear and stuff for the more you know the clothes you're yeah. going to travel yes. in. There's I've somewhere you can chuck your that. dirty laundry then as well. Mm. Absolutely, so it yeah. Yeah. Clean clothes. Yeah. So yeah. I, I always is... do the overnight packing for the, yeah. the night before we travel in one packing cube. So actually, when we get to the hotel, I don't need to unpack everything. I know which bag it's in. It's in that suitcase a and i can go in there and i can take out the packing cube it's got tonight's pajamas and it's got clothes for everyone for tomorrow mm. morning in yeah, it travel clothes done yeah. and yeah. nothing mm. else needs un- unloading this would obviously have saved us a lot of trouble on our, on our, our first, first trip journey because we did the whole stay at a hotel the night before um take your grottiest underwear throw it away so it's not not i've never done not, that not even bothering taking dirty underwear with you because you throw it away and just move don't, on. don't don't bother with that weird Jim. Why do we run the same way? Yeah. Yeah. So then we we so travelled and you know fell into bed in Port Orleans that first night because we didn't arrive till gone ten. Next morning, got up, started unpacking, sorted things out, discovered I only had two pairs of underwear. <laughs> now I know I packed enough underwear for two weeks. So did you not just accidentally throw it away? Well, <laughs> yeah, so so we ended up having to go to Walmart on our first morning, our first day. Could be worse places to go. New underwear. Oh, I'm not sure they fit. <laughs> <laughs> they'll do, you know. Yes. They'll last the two weeks. That's yeah. fine, yeah. But well, that is related to, to one of my tips, which is take your 
old grotty underwear that's nearly at the end of its life and then at the end of the trip throw it away and voila you've suddenly got acres more packing space in your suitcase for all the merch that you're bringing home we did something similar when we had a few old t-shirts that i knew we, we were yeah. going to get we've, rid of we've thrown old t-shirts before but yeah. that's oh, normally because yeah. it was um uh, we, we were hand luggage only that yeah. trip though uh, what and we, yeah, yeah. We were, we, it, that? Was, it was an eight night yeah. trip so we thought yeah. well we wasn't so much no. we thought it was the, the, <laughs> tra- the plane ticket didn't include luggage so yeah. we've done it for disneyland paris we've not right. done it for yeah we did hand luggage just say for in 20 trip. days I'm going to Walt Disney World for five Woo! nights. Yay. And I am taking two bags. <laughs> Check. <laughs> and much, carry on. How much tea is in that bag? So, <laughs> <laughs> so half of one bag already is full of tea bags. Not for me, but I will be. I, I think my say, bags are going to be. How much tea do you drink in five days? So, yeah. so I actually think my bags are going to be heavier on the way out than they are on the way home. Yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of, I've got a shopping list of people. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of biscuit tea going in one of them. Okay. Um, mm. But I just I can't do the whole hand luggage stuff. I it just I I worry about you know fluids and you know I've got stuff that I need to take. I, um, I wouldn't do it again. No, Unless I know. the price was, I have to admit, price of flights. I'd be tempted was... to at least purchase a checked bag. Yeah, mm. I was have. just. I we've talked about buying extra check bags sometimes. You yeah. know, it's. Um, I just I think I, the bargain I, flight was two hundred and eighty pounds each. I'd buy an extra. I'd buy and that was during half term. Buy an extra plane. Yeah. What else is essential packing then? Um, Jill, you mentioned mosquito repellent. I tend yeah. to buy it there because you can buy stuff at a higher DEET level than you can buy in the UK. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like cornstarch. We don't allow it here, but there it's okay. Yeah. Um, so the um, yeah the the we not repellent really, you can buy there is a bit more. Yeah, robust. we're not really trying to go off site because uh, we don't drive. So as long as you can get it in the Disney shops, mm. and to us, most things right. you can because uh, yeah. we've yeah. seen things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Advil uh, in there. Definitely yeah. sunscreen because I do the whole lobster thing. Uh, so, yes, definitely sunscreen for me. Lloyd, can I ask you a question about <clears throat> car seats? Yeah. You take your own car seats with you. We do, boys. yes. Yeah, so I've always done that as well. <laughs> um, and my mega top tip for people is because airlines don't weigh car seats. No. Nope. Just saying. So if you, you can buy a really great, bag to put your car seat in that makes sure it's protected in transit and you know which is yours when you get to the other end so that actually it doesn't get covered in crap from the the run whatever it is we buy a black one i know some people buy different cars so we always bought a black one and it is amazing how much stuff you can I tie say, into yeah. it. I see where this is going. How much yeah. stuff did you manage? How much extra tea you can pack? So on the way out, we would put all the nappies and the wipes and all the heavy yeah. stuff that you need to carry because actually you don't know that the <clears throat> excuse me the nappies and things like that are going to be the same quality in the US. And you know, babies have uh, small people have very sensitive bums, and you don't want to cause a problem while you're there because that would be a nightmare. So. <coughs> Actually, taking uh, nappies, diapers, and stuff. So I would just um, strap them into the car seat, and they weigh a ton. If you put them in your suitcase, number one, they take up a load of space. Number two, they weigh a lot. Yeah. So nappies, wipes, anything heavy, um, I would put in the car seat bag. But on the way home, oh my goodness, you can stack that thing full, and nobody weighs it. Just is saying, that what, is that what you put all like the um, candy and stuff from absolutely the scary Halloween yeah. party? Completely, <laughs> you put it yeah. in a bag and you tie it, and then you strap it in with the seat strap so it doesn't move. Um, and no one, no one's going to look in it. You can, you know, it's absolutely. Uh, I would say free luggage weight. Yeah. Just saying, do you I do hope. that, Lloyd? <laughs> yeah, it, certainly going out with all the nappies and the wipes are so heavy. Yeah, um, they weigh a ton. So I loaded with that. And then coming back, it was um, things like towels, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. stuff we didn't mind losing, but like clothes or even wise clothes and things like that. Or yeah, like t shirts. So like all the stuff. dirty, yeah, all the bits mm-hmm. like that we put into the bag. Yeah. Tape it all up as well. And then put yeah. it in, we've got a, it's called a gate check bag, a red yeah. one um, brand. So we put it in that, tie it all up, and yeah. Mm. And then you've also got the security knowing you've got your own car seat while you're there because I know Mm. some people choose to to rent a car seat from the car hire companies if you've got a car. 
I've never felt comfortable doing that. I want to know that the car seat that I've taken is the one that uh, I know hasn't been in a car accident mm, yeah. and it's the one that my child is comfortable in. Um, so, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, Claire, flying into Miami for the first time in December, it is so far from getting the luggage to the car hire place. So it's miles, isn't it? And I had four cases, five cases, um, car seat, two car seats and a yeah. booster seat all piled. I, thankfully, the trolley can go on the, the uh, monorail. Yeah. So I was sweating thinking I'm going to have to carry it all. But, yeah, so that was the only thing for Miami. It's one of those if you've, it's a long if way, you've got isn't lots it? of luggage, mm. it might be one of those times where you do consider um, renting one from the car hire place. However, it's expensive and you don't know what's mm. happened to them. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, physically or, you know, being sick and that sort of thing on them. So, yeah, so we prefer to take our own. Yeah, we always, yeah, for lots of reasons to take, take yeah. our own. Yeah. Mm. But in terms of packing, that's something that I would always <coughs> have chosen to do. We, we don't really have that much that we actually specifically pack, do we? No, I think next thing, the thing that I definitely intend to have with me is um, a phone charger. You know, one of those things that you, power you, bank. you juice up yeah. your power bank and, and you keep with What you. did John take? Because John... A strip what was it? Plug. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, a strip <laughs> plug. A strip plug. Yeah. <laughs> Not a strip club. <laughs> yes. Uh, what I would uh, call a four ganger. Yeah. 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 Yeah, in the north, it's a four gang, isn't it? Let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> Strip plug, four gang. It's all the same thing, Peter. Let's face it. It's not. None of it sounds great. Um, yeah. <laughs> we buy. We get one of the. We've got multiple of the multi USB uh, blocks, so that yeah. you can plug it into one uh, yeah. one adapter, and it's got yeah. seven, eight, ten yeah. different USB plugs in it. Um, and then we've got a few that have got USB C's in it, which is great for quick charge. Okay, yeah, um, they are a bit any... of a lifesaver, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a brilliant yeah. idea. Even yeah. just having the USB ones, especially in Disney yeah. resorts, especially yeah. Yeah. since most of them have had refurb recently, because yeah. I think the most we've ever found in a DVC or <coughs> Disney resort is fourteen USB ports in one. Oh, that's wow. Cool. Yeah. Well, to be fair, so... Disneyland Paris, horrific. Sequoia Lodge. Yeah. Oh my god, we had. There isn't one, one is there? there? There's no USBs. Well, just one no, plug. Yeah. One plug that one works. Plug. Yeah, we've done that. Oh, yeah, we're out there. Room, which we had they that. had a nightmare. Maybe two plugs. I'm not even and they've got to put the lamp to use that plug as well. No, no. Yeah. So the so lamp like, one didn't even work. No. So we <laughs> had we had one for the coffee machine. So we could either have coffee or something we'll charging. Charge. <laughs> the one that the lamp went into didn't even work. And then the one by the front door was like hanging out of the wall. So I didn't feel comfortable plugging anything into that. Okay. So we literally had yeah. one plug that worked. And luckily we had a multi USB charge. So yeah. between us, we could just about charge like Apple watches, phones, yeah. iPads, stuff like yeah. that over a 24 hour period. Had yeah. we had more devices with us, had we been there for a longer period of time, it would have just been a nightmare. Um, yeah. So I, I think that having something that can do multi-charging at the same time, particularly if you've yeah. got a camera, a phone, a watch, yeah. a, and a laptop, all of that stuff, yeah. it's absolutely yeah. essential these days. Yeah. Disneyland well, Paris, we took um, one that's just one that's got a European and a US, so you can mm -hmm. just swap out the end of yeah. it, so it's just a worldwide yeah. one, yeah, and yeah, it's got four good. USB ports on it, so it's yeah, just good. plenty. We... Um, when we were staying at the Marvel Hotel, that's a newer redo so that has enough plenty of yeah yeah usbs that's got several really. hasn't it yeah it's much yeah, better that's got several recently we stayed off site we stayed at the ibis ibis however you want to call it off site and that basically has a couple of plugs and one block a square block that has some sockets in and a couple of usbs okay and we just about managed with that yeah and the charging power from the usbs is not great no so yeah it's not great definitely now. take a, a multi-usb I, thing i, I, I think the b and b we hotel we didn't have it and we had had uh, two plugs right okay uh, yeah. and the, <coughs> yeah yeah which was fine worked for us so yeah yeah Glad does anybody take that. um earphones for the plane yes yes you do yes always have them i take don't. my earphones everywhere yeah, I'm gonna set my headphones anyway in case I, I, I used to phone. have Bose noise cancelling ones until Recently. they broke. 
Yeah. I'm not a big right. fan of the in-flight entertainment. I tend to download stuff onto my phone or whatever. Okay. So uh, I tend to have my AirPods regardless. I always have them in my bag everywhere. I take my well, beats and within about... Mm. Ten seconds, another member of the family's grabbed them off me to use. <laughs> oh, I take them yeah. every time, and then yeah, I never get to use them. Yeah, so we bought Millie just... some new, yeah. new headphones um, for for traveling, which are um, you can get some really great ones for kids, which have got a noise um, uh, upper cap limit on them, so okay. they're, 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 yeah. so they they can't have anything too loud. It's going yeah. to potentially okay. damage their hearing, um, and they're really cool. Um, and she loves them, so cool. we bought yeah. those rather than having random earphones. Yeah, um, yeah. which yeah. are essential for us. And they come in a nice little case, and they're pink, and she's happy. But um, I think that you know uh, the uh, the I think if you've got children and they're, they're watching in flight entertainment, you don't necessarily know. You can balance the noise, you can reduce it down, but actually, you don't know how how much no. damage that yeah. might do. Yeah. And like the, nine the, hours. the headphones aren't great they're quality. Not ones you get. Oh, they're crap. No, they are, yeah. Even the good yeah. ones in like premium or in, yeah. you know, in business, they're, they're not yeah. great. They're not designed. Actually, the only ones that I think were good was ones we had on Delta last year. Yeah, Delta Because exactly they were noise cancelling. They were noise cancelling oh, ones. Oh, yeah. very nice. I mean, that's but then you around. can't hear this, the steward asking if you want another drink. <laughs> yeah, but they just walk you up can to just you. You just press the button and say, yeah. can I have another drink? You you have you a just, chat at the beginning just look and say, and don't let my glass like... be empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say, you um, say you're, not, you're not a big fan of the in-flight entertainment, Claire. I just love the opportunity to be able to watch a little bit of it these days. I remember... Oh, I never get to see anything. 2016, I think, was the last time I watched something. It was <laughs> David Brent, Life on the Road. And I think Brody was a baby and he was asleep on most of the way over. And then since oh. 2019, I remember watching Avengers Endgame about... 15 times going out and coming back and each time I've got about 15 minutes in and then something happens and I have to start again. Oh, that's one of the and reasons last... I don't do it. Oh, but yeah, I just love the opportunity to have, to, just everyone leave me alone for two hours just to watch something on, <laughs> just, on the plane. So right, oh, oh, Lloyd, you you must be similar to, so like we'll have Millie in between us and Dan, we'll watch, he'll be like afterwards, like, oh, did you watch this film? Did you watch this film? I'll be like, no, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> yeah, watch <laughs> any <laughs> films. Yeah. I have to say, when we went to Mexico last year, Millie was amazing. She uh, she watched quite a lot of stuff on the plane, and she's got to that point where she's like nine, and she can entertain herself quite a lot of the time. But you know, ten and a half hours is quite a long time. But she was brilliant, and actually, um, I I ended up not watching. I didn't watch a single bit of in flight entertainment on the way there all the way back. I watched back to back Ted Lasso episodes on my phone, which was great <laughs> because it didn't matter if I missed a bit of it because I knew yeah. what was happening. But that you know, I. I chose to do that rather than trying to combat a film that I knew I was going to get interrupted yeah. halfway through or she's going to want to go to the loo or something like that. No, it's just, it frustrates me. So it's easier not to do it. Yeah, Whereas Dan will watch all the films. Yeah. The first time we went to <laughs> WDW, it was still the old system where they started all the films and the programs at once. Oh, they went on demand. No, no, no! Oh, wow, no. did it have back seat back TVs, or was it like the one that dropped down in the middle? It was seat back TVs. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. seat back TV, but this was 2010, and yeah, literally. well, it, yeah, it was. It was 2010. It was, and, but in yeah. 2005, we'd been to New York with Virgin, and they had a they had on demand. They had on demand. Maybe yeah. just had an old style. So it was the Orlando one that that it was mm. quite. A, shock to us so basically if you watch something for about 15 minutes and decided no i don't fancy this i'll watch something else you'd missed half of whatever else Gosh. you changed to it's funny isn't it the ife yeah. is such a important part for some people now yeah, yeah. um and there's so many different options yeah. Yeah, you can play games and play uh, you know a number of hours i've played tetris on the plane. and, and yeah. you can chat with other people when yeah, the yeah. see i've not done that i've never done it either no. No, that, I've, done that. I've done it once when my brother was sitting behind me. Okay, so it's someone you knew. It wasn't just someone some random you had a chat to. No. Yeah. You have you have to accept like the invitation yeah. to seat. You have to swipe have to left number. or right. Is that how it works? It's like the mile high for that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right? Do you want to chat to this person? Oh. Swipe. <laughs> the only trouble with playing games, as we discovered, uh, was that you had to press so hard on the screen that you're pushing the person front but yeah the yeah, person yeah, in front push, basically yeah. turned around after five minutes and said i'm really sorry but could you stop poking me in the back See, and we said oh i'm sorry sorry I the like first people. time we went we had a little 
remote. Hand, remote that you could remove yeah. out yes. and you could use yes. that to play the yeah. games. Because yeah. I spent a while playing Sudoku, mm. I think it was. Mm. Yeah. But now if I want to play games, I just play on my iPad. Yeah. yeah. So thinking back to... We tend to watch a lot of Sky Map, if I'm honest. Yes. Yeah, he does. Oh, it's it's compulsory. Map, yeah, it's, I, I can fall asleep to it, but my problem is I fall asleep on the plane quite easily. You fall asleep yeah, okay. anywhere easily. Yeah. So, it's quite compulsive, actually, sitting there going, ooh. No. But no, I just like to know the countdown of how long it is to we get there. Yeah. But just so the I can then plan. The one thing that always like... gets me is, is they tell you the temperature outside. <laughs> Why? So you don't decide to open the door? Uh, Why do I oh, want to know? I'm a bit hot. I want it to be minus 50. <laughs> oh, it's minus 50. That would explain why I'm yes. a little bit chilly. Well, what is better, though, than that is on the new Virgin... Oh, I would say new Virgin planes, but they've got cameras now. So you can see... Oh, Emirates under, have that as well. Yeah, yeah you, you can really see cool. underneath see. and you can see, yeah. like, the tail. I can watch the, the undercarriage is the words you're looking yeah. for. Bit. <laughs> do you see that? I don't like heights. I don't want to see how far down the ground is. Oh, no, you can't see the ground, Becca. You're 35,000 feet in the air. See, I might have to watch it on landing next time. I've done that on Emirates. I've done that on Emirates. It's quite interesting. Um, Going back to park bags. Can I go back to park bags? Yeah, you can, because you've got some interesting stuff you put in your park bag. (laughs) My park bag packing is uh fairly legendary i believe now there are certain things that i always have in my part bag and it doesn't matter whether it's a backpack a bum bag fanny pack whatever you want to call it um i will always always and actually i put it in the suitcase today for when i travel i always carry super glue is that just in case your suitcase falls apart it is for all sorts of all sorts of reasons um not least uh, for injuries and like skin tears and things like that, uh, flip flops that break. Um, you know, if something happens that can be fixed with super glue, then I've got it there handy. And it's not something you can readily get hold of when you're in a uh, in a theme park. <laughs> so, um, do you use the super glue to make sure you stay there before they try and I have, the park closes? I have genuinely use super glue so many times when I've been in a, in Walt Disney World. You would not believe how many. Times I'm, I'm noting this down. I like yeah. that. I like yeah. super glue. That's interesting. You know, so, they just just brought back hugging characters. Watch out, guys! Right? <laughs> it's just one of those things that you know, if a Be toy careful, breaks. Donald. If a toy breaks or, you know, a child's cup or anything like that, you just fix it there and then it's done. Yeah, or you break something in the hotel room that you're going to get charged right. for. Ooh, yeah. Point. Super glue it back together. Um, or the sole so, of your shoe comes loose, I guess. <clears> absolutely. Like so actually yeah, yeah, we've had a situation where, where it's – it's and you can just – done – glued back together it lasts you to the end of the day that's the important bit um you don't have to pay extortionate amounts for a new pair of disney shoes um what else do i take in my bag i always have lip balm always at least one if not several different versions of lip balm um i always have a hairbrush mainly for millie because her hair's so long um, and hair bands, lots of different versions of hair ties, uh, not just for Everest and <laughs> flinging them on, um, but I will always have, you know, several different versions of hair ties. Um, what else do I take in my bag? I always have tissues. I always have some painkillers. So I always have paracetamol and ibuprofen, both for adults and for children. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Phone, phone charger, you know, battery pack, um, cable usually usb-c now because it's quick i thought you said table then <laughs> yeah i do I <laughs> take a whole lot it's, it's, it's a mary poppins, mary poppins bag. Bag. i yeah. do sometimes take a, a i have known to take a, a spoon particularly if i've got a child of that age so that yeah. they can be they can eat or they can be fed uh so a number of handbags have got like a random child spoon in them Mm-hmm. Um, but also things like cutlery are probably a good thing, especially like food and wine and things. Oh, you I, can get the yeah, we, absolutely plastic cutlery, uh, soy sauce, chili sauce, uh, maybe a little bit of wasabi, just in case you <laughs> never know when you're going to need it. We, I mean, we've got some metal straws that we take. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, straw. Yeah. This, so all of this fits into quite a small bag. I'm just looking up here because I've got like a little backpack. I've either got like a lounge fly backpack or I've got a bum bag. Um, None of them are particularly big, 
but I tend to be able to an animal when they were still existing. I'm so sad that animal went bust. Um, but the, I've got a number of different back, um, like handbags from animal that have multiple different pockets. And so I can put everything yeah. from room, you know, access, park access cards and room hotel cards and everything has a place in there. And you can, it's like the TARDIS bag. Um, if someone asks me for something that I don't have, then next time I'll have it because I tend to try and pack everything in. So, do you, and I know do you people take, laugh at me. Do you take a pack down um, poncho, like a tiny? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, poncho. Um, I will take, uh, I'm trying to think what else have I got in there. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I took this week. There was so much in there. Obviously, I've got a pad. Do you have a pad in there and a pen? I always have a pen, at least one, usually yeah, two, and a pencil pen. just in case the pen runs out. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Nail file, always need a nail file. Um uh I don't think I think uh glasses, sunglasses, usually for other people as well. Um yeah. And Everything. do you have enough space for when the kids pass you something to put in your bag? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's a TARDIS bag. It is a TARDIS bag. Map, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was very disappointed and I actually came unstuck this week with oh, Disneyland yeah. Paris have got rid of park maps. Yeah. Uh, it's now all on the app and that does not work so well. Um so I can't believe you brought this up. Okay. So you know Lloyd, I was gonna... can I just say Lloyd, you will appreciate this completely. If you have a child who uh, needs to use the restroom while you're in a Disney park and they have the digital uh, flush system so actually if you're an adult and you you sit on the toilet it doesn't flush because you're big enough to hide the flush system if you're a child who wriggles sometimes or isn't very tall sometimes the the toilet will flush when the child is sitting on it now that causes great distress and anxiety for future bathroom visits so I tended to pick up an extra park map that I would keep in my back pocket or in my bag that when we went to the bathroom, I could put, I could cover the f- digital flush system, and child, whichever child it was, was able to use the bathroom without the toilet flushing on their bum. Um, it's a good use of a park map. They're free. You know, people say, "Oh, just use a bit, of ki- bit of tissue, bit of toilet tissue." No, no, no. Park map is perfectly fine, um, and it has its intent. It has a purpose, and it goes in the bin at the end of the day, so it's hygienic. You know, um, that makes sense. But when they've got rid of the park maps at Disneyland Paris, <laughs> I have an issue. Yeah. You know, this is, and there aren't many places in DLP that have got those digital flashes, but there are a few. And believe there me, are, yeah. we found them. Um, <laughs> and another tip that does the same thing is, um, I think Gaz from the Kershaw's Adventures put it on his socials the other day, and it's a roll of stickers. And oh. you just put a, a sticker over it, um, and then you just throw it away straight away. We've had so many issues where Mills has literally refused to go to the toilet oh, because she's scared that the toilet's going to flush in her bum. Um, so having something that can cover that digital flush yeah. is uh, essential, really. Yeah. I think that's as good a point to, to, to end on as any, really. <laughs> is it? What, the toilet flushing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. yeah. <laughs> It's been a whole, just, a whole new world, I, hasn't it? Yeah. I just had one thing to um I'll carry on. Go, going back to viewing, we we're talking about viewing before and in, in mm-hmm. fly entertainment, but just for the rooms, just considering it's Disney and Disney's got Disney Plus, the, the TVs in the rooms on site, the, the channels, okay, they are extensive, but the viewing's not amazing. You've got to find out what's on at that time. They haven't got Disney Plus. Mm. Whereas we stayed off site at some cheapo place and it had HBO and everything. So we always take um a hard drive from home. With like right, kids' okay. favorite movies on and stuff, because I can That's always find the USB, 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 USB point on the telly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Why don't the rooms have Disney Plus? That makes no they, sense. The new rooms, um, the new TVs have the ability for you to cast from your phone. Yeah, they do. So yeah, you go on Disney Plus on your phone, you can cast it to it. But we not did all of them Marvel. have got. Not yeah. all the hotels have got mm, updated yeah. TVs. We did that in Art of Marvel. We cast, we cast a Marvel it. film. Yeah, yeah. We did it at Car- uh, um, Coronado Springs, and we ca- we um, cast YouTube on. All yeah. oh, right, okay, yeah. Right. I, I, yeah. I remember Was that when you were up at three in the morning. Up at three in yes, the morning, watching Adam Patton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. As you do. Yeah. As you do. Well, that's cool. We'll do. We'll have a look at that. We're at Saratoga yeah. Springs. We'll make so sure to put the waffles in. They've got new the TVs. Yeah, so. they'll oh, have that's it. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's that's really useful though. One thing I was going to ask about was water. 
we did mention water earlier and taking bottles of water. Mm. Now, we've never really needed to because we've never really been at a time when it's hot enough to bother. Um, but what what are people's ways of taking water with them? I notice now that they have these new uh, water filling stations, water bottle mm. filling yeah. stations. Yeah. Yes. So do you take a, a water bottle with you? We've not done it yet, but in Galaxy and in Galaxy's Edge and Pandora, they've got a um, proper water fountain sort of within yeah. the station. So this time I'm going to take an empty bottle and fill that well, there. But... What we normally do is we normally take a bottle of water in with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And once that's drunk, we'll usually go up to the quick service counters and say... Get some ice water for ice free. Some ice water, please. Mm-hmm. And if you're in Starbucks, you buy one drink. and Or just if you yeah. just need nice water, it's you can just a lot bigger. And... So we yeah. we tend to take uh, a bottle of frozen water that we put in the freezer. You know, go to the supermarket, buy a pack of frozen, buy a pack of water, and stick it in the freezer. So we tend to take a bottle of frozen water. I also take like a a Chili's bottle, so a five hundred ml, uh, super insulated. It's never yeah. going to defrost in a million years. You could take it to the surface of the sun; it'll still stay frozen. Yeah. Water bottle, um, and I fill that with ice in the morning and and water so that that ice then stays quite cold yeah. through the day and refill it with the iced water from the quick service we also take a big what dan's got uh like an 800 mil one of those that we put with ice and water and we leave that in the car so when we get back when you've done that trudge across the car park um or you at the end of the day yeah. and you get back to the car and everyone is just exhausted hot sweaty gasping for a drink you open that and it's like the coldest thing in the world but it's amazing yeah um and though if you've got a decent water bottle you i mean we've left it in the car from morning till night and got back in the car at like five six o'clock in the evening in 35 degree heat and it is still ice and cold water um i would totally recommend that i know people sometimes put like a cool box in the boot of their car and put some stuff in there um you know whatever works so i would say yes water bottle yes like insulated chilled bottle Mm. yeah and yes leave one in the back of your car for when you get back there later on in the day i took one of those to india with me and it was a godsend Mm. (laughs) it really was yeah I've got a thermos one I use for work and during summer it's great. You just put ice in the morning and it's just there for like yeah. once I left it for a couple of days and it was like it was ice was still, still in there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Did I did I ever tell you when I walked a bit of the um Camino de Santiago in Spain? It goes from France across northern Spain. Yep. And so you're filling your water bottles and water's really important. I almost mm. died one day. Well, not almost died, but I ran out of water on the hottest day and it was going up a mountain. Mm. That's that's a different story. But anyway, so you've got water fill stations all the way along, like whether it's a fountain or, or a, a water thing on the wall. And I forget the town I was going through one morning, and there's a, an old monastery, um, and they've got water in one of the, the fountain ducts and wine, red wine in the other. <laughs> and it's only available in the morning. So right the first thing in the morning, you go and you can, you, you got to make it. If you've got one water bottle, it's a tough choice. Do I have water for the day or do I have Ooh. red wine? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Take two bottles, surely. Yeah, yeah. my lesson for next time, yeah. But, oh. uh, yeah. Which did you choose, Lloyd? I chose red wine and it was uh, it wasn't the best. It probably <laughs> dehydrated oh. the life out of you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a full bottle, but yeah, red wine. Yeah. I had a, I had a coffee food. that morning and it was red wine for uh, oh. lunch. Cool. <laughs> Take note, Disney. That's what you should yeah. do. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah, oh my goodness, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Pretty Pretty red, red wine. Dodge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Disney or Paris would probably do it. <laughs> yeah, they would. Yeah. Very French thing to do. Yeah, yeah maybe so. Maybe or so, they yeah. have wine... That, in in certain supermarkets in Paris, you put a bottle in, it goes into a machine, it fills it up with wine, and it brings it out again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be surprised if DLP doesn't do that. Yeah. Talk, talking of wine, I just want to bring this picture up. Yes. See here, because, Claire, you were at Disneyland Paris this week, and you had a particular <laughs> drink. Yes. That made me laugh so much. Honestly. What that, was it like? Is that why you brought that one? So, so that was the... Um, the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary uh, special wine. They do a white and a red. Uh, and we we got the white. And we so we may have had a couple of bottles that particular evening. Um, but the, the name of the wine, uh, certainly for those who are only listening, the wine was called Le Clap. Uh, may have made us giggle more than it probably should. 
amongst other things that particular evening. Right. Well, that was a great discussion. Well up to our usual standards because we can waffle. That's why we're called wafflers. But with, there was lots of interesting information there as well. So things that we can all take with us on our next big trip. Yeah, la clap and super glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And the alternative uses for path maps. Are we sure that? Are we sure that? Yeah. Are we sure that La Clap is not a character from a low, a low? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. No, he's not. No, <laughs> that was my attempt at humour, which went down as well as usual, really. <laughs> Just a little joke. That's all right. I'll, I'll find a tumbleweed graphic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. fine. <laughs> Shooting stars, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just about wraps it up. Uh, so, Wafflers, tell us what's coming up. Tell us well, what's okay. So what today's fir- today's the first of May, so that means there are quite a few of us heading over to Walt Disney World next or this mm-hmm. month. Yes, Yay. my goodness. So, are we all ready? Are we packed? Absolutely not. Nope. Do we have a list? <laughs> not yet. yet. Not at the time of recording. We will have, have a list for the time. Have you printed? Out, have you printed and laminated your uh, spreadsheet? No. no, because it will, we don't. I, we don't laminate just no. in case things change. That is true, Lloyd. Well, I think you've got a trip as well. Yeah. When are you yes. there, Lloyd? Uh, end of May. Um, last few days of May, and then first two weeks of June. Oh, Same oh, time wow. as Ben and Becca. Yeah. Out there. yeah. We just we over we almost overlap hotels. I think we missed by one day on the hotels, but we'll catch yeah, okay. up with it. And I miss oh. you. I miss you all by about a week. Unfortunately, uh, we'll just yeah, we'll just see what you've left behind, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of wine. That's no. all I'm going to say. That's because you're meeting up with Kevin. Orlando will have a right. super glue shortage. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll take that with me. But then there'll be extra. Oh, actually, I might buy some super glue for you know because that'd be useful. Honestly, if... Worth having. Well, I tend to keep having wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> well, I do. Okay. <laughs> Straps on my dresses and tops have a tendency to. Yeah, I was super glue not going to fix that. No, Maybe a needle and thread might be a better idea. Yeah. Or a new top. Didn't a cast member help to use a stapler? <laughs> yeah, I did a stapler at one point. <laughs> to a your cost- body or to the dress? <laughs> to the dress. <laughs> okay. Came off test track and somehow. The no excitement had pinged your strap <laughs> off. It had just frayed and broken. Oh dear. So I'm the photo on test track shows Ben with some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wasn't sure what it was going to show, to be honest with you, Ben. <laughs> we're, we're not talking about no, okay, Janet Jackson. I don't Jackson. Well, I was on the right. No, so. We're not talking I'm, Janet I'm Jackson levels, are we? Yeah. Okay, you're holding it up. So I'm holding so it up from my own modesty. Obscuring yes. any detail that may be offensive. Oh. As an ex-competitive ballroom dancer, you'll be surprised what the women use to keep their dresses up sometimes. Super glue. <laughs> anything. Super glue, Kirby grips, <laughs> anything. Hair grips, anything. Gorilla glue. Anything that will keep you up. Just Wig while they, glue. they will It's very good. Well, I once had to use a badge. Oh, that was yeah. that was after the wave, wasn't it? Yeah. This is okay. like a whole other segment of how do you keep <laughs> yeah. up yeah. when you're in Walt Disney World? <laughs> Maybe we need to stop shopping in Primark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I can set one of those dresses with some H&M. So. Oh. Holiday wardrobe malfunctions, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what's on. coming up. <laughs> How to keep your clothes on at Disney World. <laughs> oh, that's something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different, different that's show. That's wafflers go dark. All together. Indeed. That's a late night waffle. Indeed. Okay. Um, oh. Going back who to what we, we have. Who do we have as our um, special guest this week on Shares a Waffle? This okay. month, uh, this month we've got Karina and Lee join us from CNL Wonder. Ah, Yay. yes, now been... fantastic. Yeah, they're great. We uh, we took them into Salon Mickey at Disneyland Paris. At Disneyland Paris. Oh, do you know what? That's going to be such a great show on the fifteenth. Yeah. We look all look wait. forward to hearing about it and and hearing their reaction to that. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, they're so lovely. But they're really nice. So, I'm in well, I'm going to the airport in like ten days. Wow. <gasps> Um, as long as I pass my COVID test on the day before I travel, oh, uh, you never know. it might have changed. There might not be um, testing. Oh, I'm by sure. Then, I'm but... sure it will be testing by then. It, it, yeah. You know what? It's fine. It's all booked, and uh, I will be going and seeing some friends and having lots of fun. My spreadsheet has been written a hundred times because I was told it was all wrong. Uh, you know who you are, saying nothing. Um, Mr. Canap. 
<laughs> but, yeah. um, but it's been rewritten and I am looking forward to eating in the most amazing places, Chico, uh, Tepanido, Citrico's, yeah. uh, Tatoria Al Forno, um, places that I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten in Chico before and I haven't eaten in Citrico's for years. So, And the new menu looks amazing. Um, it does, yeah. And I'm so excited about uh, trying all this new stuff. So, yeah, I hey. can't wait. Oh, amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. And this leaves us just with one thing that we haven't thought about, which is ne- this time next month will be our third birthday. It will. Yay. It's our third wow. birthday show next month. Yeah. yeah. They've let us do this for three years. Yes. Yep. 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 <laughs> Not only have they let us, but we've got more and more people. Yes. 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 Wow. wow. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has followed, liked, commented, shared. Listened, and, watched. Yeah. Appeared. With us. Yep. Yeah. Appeared. I can't believe it's been three years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And a Time huge flies. thank you tonight to Lloyd for coming back. and yes. yeah. 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 Thanks yeah. for having me. It's been, it's been my pleasure. Yeah. It's been great having you here. Many time. It has, yeah. Yes. So. Ben, yes. will you put up the information slide, please, if you would? Next slide, please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So that we can tell people where we are, what we're doing. This is like Chris Witty, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Which one do we want? Oh. There we go. So what are we up to? So you can find everything we do on our website, which actually isn't on there, which is gbmickeywaffle.com. Yep. Um, all our socials are at gbmickeywaffle. So that's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Um, if you want to see any of our merch, so our T-shirts, you can find them on Redbubble and Tee Public. And if you are booking your next trip, whether it's to Disney, Universal or anywhere else, um, speak to Neil and Karen at Portwood Travel. Cool. So see you all next month. And that just leaves us one thing to say. Waffle on! Waffle on! Waffle on. <laughs>